Primeval Labs YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my quad workout and then if you stay tuned to the end you'll be able to see my hamstring workout that I've put together, my top three favorite exercises, you know, exercises I use in all my hamstring training and I'm going to give you some tips on what to do and how to do them, so stay tuned. One, genetics play a part, and, and two, I condition them by doing these three exercises that I really have believed help bring them out and help with the definition as well. So um, I'll get started by showing you one of my staple hamstring exercises, which is the leg curl. Reps and sets range, so you always want to keep things interesting and keep the body guessing. You don't want to be doing the same thing over and over. Hamstrings tend to respond better to lower reps, so you want to be working with about five to 12 rep range. And you know what, what weight you do is up to you and what you can handle, but make sure that changes all the time as well. You want to be working up to a heavier weight. Either way, as long as your reps and sets are changing and you're adding some kind of load somewhere and progression, then they should be growing. There's two different ways that you can work the hamstrings. So bend with the knee, which is what we did with the leg curl, or with the hips, which I've done here with the Romanian devil. Um, the best thing, one of the tips that I use when I'm doing the Romanian deadlift is to lean back into the movement and put the pressure on your toes so you're not falling back. That's what I personally do. And you really just want to get that stretch and allow it to stretch out. You don't want to hurry the movement. You want to really work on that muscle-mind connection and um, load those hamstrings. Once again, you can play with the tempo. You can go slower and then come up slower or you can go down slow, come up fast. Um, yeah, it's really up to you. Up next is the Nordic Leg Curl. This one's an absolute killer. Really burns out my hamstrings. As you can see, I've set up this exercise on a half raise. Because <laughs> there's not really a machine around here for this exercise. I don't know if I've ever seen one. Um, and we've used our box here as well. So you can set up this movement anywhere or anything that has anything that you can lock your feet under. So it might be a like pull down. You can also use a person, so someone holding your feet, and then put a mat underneath your knees, and then go down that way as well. So it depends where you are and who you have with you, but I've used, as you see, a calf raise machine. So one of the big tips when it comes to the Nordic leg curl is your eccentric movement. So making sure that you're going down nice and slow and getting that hamstring stretch. And then as far as coming up, you can come up faster or you can challenge yourself and also come up a little bit slower. There are ways to make the movement harder. By using the box, you can see that when I was coming down, I was pushing a little bit off the box to give me some assistance from the bottom of the movement. 
Whereas if you want to give yourself a challenge, you can have just a little bit of support, touch, and then use your body by putting your chest up to get your hamstrings firing to lift you up. So it depends how much you want to be challenged. I hope my three hamstring tips were useful for you guys. Feel free to try them and tag me in them. I want to see what you guys are doing. I want to see your progress. If you liked what you saw today, please drop a comment. If you want to know anything else from me, I guess, drop a comment. I always like to read what you guys think and try and, I don't know, give you what I can, where I can. But I don't know if you don't tell me. So I'm going to keep these videos rolling and I'll catch you guys really soon. So thanks for tuning in.